Tyler Martin steps in. Bryce Stryer is ready to go. And the first pitch of the game is a fastball on the outside edge for strike one. A little bit before the broadcast. Can't get much better for a conference opener than to have an elite matchup like this as Bryce Jarvis is able to get Robbie Martin swinging on the slider. Playing Murray straight up defensively, and he hits a high drive deep to left field. Going back is Elijah Cabell at the warning track, and it's high off the blue monster and in play. Murray trots around first. He's going to come into second standing up, and there's a double for the Blue Devils, and Ethan Murray as Duke gets the first hit in this ballgame. You know, Ethan Murray on time, getting the foot down, putting a good swing on a fastball. I, I think he probably thought it was gone, um, but he, you can see there he, he kind of pimps it a little bit. It's in his stride, but if the ball doesn't leave the yard, um, coach is probably going to get into him a little bit, but uh, he's on second base. No harm, no team. Blue Devils really was kind of a turning point. 1-1 one, one uh, pitch, hard ground ball to the right side, fielded by Jackson Green. That's going to move the runner over to third base, so Mervis is retired for the second out of the inning. But now Duke has the potential first run of the ball game, 90 feet against Campbell on Wednesday. 0-2 pitch, line drive, and that's going to find its way through the hole into right field for a base hit past the diving Carter Smith. Ethan Murray trots in to score. Rothenberg with his 15th RBI of the season, and Duke takes a 1-0 lead. That's an excellent job by Rothenberg. You know, battling 0-2 gets the RBI base hit, but if, if you're Van Eyck there, your stuff's too good. That pitch can't be in the zone. That needs to get down. Uh, and, and make him chase something out of the zone that he can't handle uh, and put in play with, with any sort of, you know, power behind it. Yeah, how many times do you hear either in college or professional? Van Eyck said the chest, the 0-2. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. That was that big curveball, Jordan. And that'll do it for the end of the inning here. But just, you'll hear with a white wristband as the 1-2 pitch comes in. Swing and a miss. We'll get to that point coming up after the inning. But Bryce Jarvis strikes out the side here in the second. And the count. Will Hoyle's a hometown kid from Durham. First pitch swing, and he hits a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Drifting into foul territory, Tyler Martin. Now he comes back into fairground, and he makes a one-handed catch. The wind kind of swirling here at DBAP, and Tyler Martin able to stick. And you can't keep you know falling behind in every account. Nico Baldor, first pitch swinging, hits a drive out toward left center field. Rudy Maxwell over, but it's Joey Loperfito who will take it as the wind carries it a little bit toward center so far here today. 3-1 pitch. Up high, ball four, and Murray draws a two-out walk. Despite the walk there, I have been very impressed with his pure stuff right? of absolute excellence and really redefined coaching in the ACC. Payoff pitch, Van Eyck turns to the breaking ball to try and get a backdoor strikeout. Mervis lays off. It's hard consistently. Win with your best pitch. Now the 0-1 pitch to Rothenberg is a breaking ball. Bounce to first base. Handled by Carter Smith. Flips it underhand to Van Eyck covering first. And Florida State able to get out of the self-made jam for Van Eyck. After teams that really employs them a, a ton. And 3-2 pitch to Robbie Martin. A line drive into center field. But right at Joey Loperfito. And he makes the one-handed catch. Looked like he might have been fighting the sun a little bit there. As he was kind of into the windup. And the 1-0 pitch. Knight. Drills it out toward left field. Elijah Cabell goes back a couple of steps, and he dropped it. It popped off of his glove. Wide turn at first. Knight's going to scramble back, and he'll be on at first base. But Elijah Cabell, on a ball that came right at him, he drifted back about two steps, and in front of the warning track, just simply muffed it. Oh, a good piece of hitting there by Chad Knight. Puts the barrel on the ball. You know, ball's really not flying out to left at all today, but Elijah Cabell just... I don't know if he took his eye off it or just, you know, everyone kind of assumed he was, you know, making the play. Chad Knight kind of makes the turn and thinks it's caught. And then uh, you know. third base, they've used four different third basemen in the first 13 games this season. Pop up towards second base. Jackson Green camps under it, makes a two-handed catch. And the error does no harm to C.J. Van Eyck and the Knowles. Two strikes, two outs. The pitch on the outside corner called strike three. I think Smith might have been looking for something different. And instead, Jarvis was able to freeze him in his place. You know. This could be the ACC Pitcher of the Year. Now the 0-2 pitch to Chase Cheek. A swing and a miss on a breaking ball in the dirt. It bounces away from the catcher, Matt Nelson, and goes all the way to the backstop and into the FSU dugout on the third base side. So Cheek is going to make it to first base. And there's a one-out base runner here. And despite the strikeout, Chase Cheek able to get aboard. Van Eyck from the stretch. 1-0 pitch is in and out of the glove of Nelson. Taking off for second is Cheek, and he's going to make it easily without a throw. Yeah, what that, a read on that pitch. Absolutely, and that won't go down as a stolen base, but you know that's that's a, you know, 
And Ike checks the runner at second once. Now the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball. Left side of the infield. Backhanded by DeSantis. Fires to first and gets Ethan Murray by a step. He made that one look routine. DeSantis is slick. Uh, he, he's got all the actions like. And now the 0-1 pitch. And that one barely did get the batter to get Mervis. They're signaling for Mervis to go down to first on a hit by pitch. Set at the chest. Now the 1-2 pitch. Fast ball. Low and inside. And now the delayed steal down to second base. Mervis is going to make it without a throw as catcher Matt Nelson faked the throw down to second and then looked over at third. Chase Cheek wasn't buying it. At the collegiate level, you'll often see that in the first and third situation with two outs and maybe try to. Van Eyck into the windup and now the 2-2 pitch. There it is. There Breaking yep. ball down and in and Rothenberg swings right over the top. And C.J. Van Eyck able to get out of trouble here in the home half of the fifth inning. Having pretty comfortable at bats here. And now the 2-2 pitch is skied on the left side of the infield. Racing over Erickson Nichols into foul territory. Hat pops off, but he makes the catch. Nice job by Erickson Nichols. Had to cover a lot of ground coming over from that shortstop position. And once again, Bryce Jarvis dials up eight. The freshman. And now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him on a fast, or caught the curveball rather. Yep. yep. Good pitch from C.J. Van Eyck. That's six strikeout into the windup and the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. It skips in the dirt, bounces away from Rothenberg, and Robbie Martin's going to make it to first base. And that's how you're going to see the perfect game bid end. Oh, that's so rare. Um, baseball, you can't make this up. But you had to know that if you've watched any amount of Duke baseball, it was going to be an off-speed pitch there. Uh, Jarvis down the zone, but ball kicks away from Rothenberg. Really not much he could do there to block it. Uh, but FSU is their first base runner of the day. See if they can capitalize. Officially a strikeout wild pitch for Bryce Jarvis, and that's his 11th of the ball game. And now Florida State has their first base runner here in the top of the... And now the 1-1 pitch. Fastball, line drive toward left field, coming on and making the... cat. No, it popped out of his glove. Rudy Maxwell thought he I think they corralled it. I think they signaled it was down, so that's going to be Florida State's first hit of the ball game. Really nice piece of hitting there by uh, Elijah. Um, Florida State's got something going here. And, and what you no one really talks about is you get a base runner on. Yeah, it's new for the pitcher to be in the stretch for the first time, but the fielders also haven't had that pressure of anybody being on base. That was a well-hit ball, a line drive that then kind of knuckled at the end, and it caught Rudy Max. 3-2 pitch, breaking ball. That one missed outside, ball four. Jordan, as you predicted, he went for it. Jarvis set, 2-2 pitch. Slider, outside corner, called strike three. And Bryce Jarvis gets out of the inning, and he pumps his fist as he heads back to the first base dugout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and three runners left on base for the Seminoles. We've reached the seventh inning stretch in Durham. It's Duke with a 1-0 lead over Florida State. Here. Uh, in the eighth and for the two out save. Hoyle hits a rope through the middle for a base hit as Will Hoyle is able to get the third base hit for Duke this afternoon. Able to stroke a single and continue his strong start to the season. Great. He, he was probably going to be safe either, either way. 3-1 to Murray is inside for ball four on the off-speed pitch. So now runners at first and second with two outs in the inning and Matt Mervin. And now the payoff pitch. Breaking ball, ground ball on the right side of the infield, handled by Smith. He'll flip it over to first, hustling down the line is Mervis, Mervis, and just barely getting his right foot on the bag is Scalaro to end the inning. Matt Mervis didn't give up on that at bat, and very nearly. Duke infield now shifts. Now the one two pitch to Baldor, swing and a miss, strike three. Ball was in the dirt. Rothenberg picks it up, flips down to first, and Thomas Gerard strikes out the side with relative ease here in the one of the nation's best hitters. Three and one. Rothenberg swings, hits a ground ball, two hopper to third base. Handled by Tyler Martin, low throw in the dirt, and it can't be scooped out by Carter Smith. You know, Rothenberg is safe at first to lead off this eighth inning. Scalaro leaves a change up, up in the zone a little bit. Rothenberg, great swing on it, smokes it to third base. Excellent play by Weichman in the uh, Athens Regional. Low Perfito running, had a good jump. Meanwhile, Crabtree crushes it to right field, and that ball is off the base of the wall. Rothenberg around third. He's going to hustle in to score from first base, and Chris Crabtree gives Duke a 2-0 lead with a clutch pinch hit double. I was about to highlight his freshman year heroics where he basically put the team on his back and won a regional uh, for Duke to send him to their first ever Super Regional. Um, right there, big spot off the, you know, Great move by Coach Pollard to put the lefty in to face the side armor. Terrifically, 
traditionally a much easier matchup. 14th at 9-3. and 2-2 two -two pitch to Hoyle. A swing and a miss for strike three. And that'll do it for Duke in the home half of the eighth inning. One run on one hit. There was a little bit kind of the arms dragging. He's snapping the head. Um, but the last thing you want to do with a lead um, is give, give away free offense. Come set, righty-righty matchup. And the 0-2 pitch skips in the dirt. Bounces away from Rothenberg into the backstop screen. And heading down to second is Tyler Martin. Makes the turn and stops there. And Florida State has a runner in scoring position here in the ninth inning. 19 and supers the pass two. Uh, one, two pitch, swing and a miss by Matt Nelson as he cuts through the breaking ball. And that's a big first out here in the ninth inning for Gerard. Center, lefty batter and the 0-1. Swing and a miss. And that bounces away from Rothenberg and over toward the third base dugout. Racing down to third base is Tyler Martin. And now the Knowles have the potential first run 90 feet away. Trailing to Robbie Martin, runner at third base. And the pitch from Gerard is a bouncing ball on the right side. Matt Mervis loves it. Steps on the bag. Tyler Martin comes in to score. It's an RBI for Robbie. And now the Knowles are on the board. It's 2-1 here in the ninth, but with two outs. They're one swing away. 3-2, with... two, two outs in the ninth. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball in the dirt. Rothenberg picks it up, throws to first, and Duke wins the ACC opener over Florida State. 2-1 in a stellar pitching duel at DBAP. No, outstanding performance here from Duke. Tremendous amount of fight there from the Knowles to you know, bring it within one run in the ninth. Unfortunately, couldn't complete the comeback. We're in.